All right, we are going to be creating a character from nothing using AI. We're going to be rigging that character. We're going to be bringing it into Unreal Engine, and we're going to be accomplishing all of this, a fully playable character, in about two minutes uh, using a couple of systems. One of them is Rodin's Hyperhuman, Hyperhuman's Rodin, rather, which is an image to AI generation platform. Uh, which we're going to be using the uh, we're going to be showing off the blender add-on here today Which means we're going to be able to do all of this from within Blender, which is kind of wild So I've got the uh, I've got the Rodin add-on installed into my blender This is how the panel looks and uh, this is their default character We're going to use their default character to start and I've got a couple of settings Enabled I've not changed the height to 180 because that seems to be the correct height for Unreal Engine and I've got a couple of other settings here, the 4K textures, shaded, etc., like that. So basically, all I need to do now is click Submit, and this image is now being generated as a 3D model. Now, I can, of course, replace this image with one of my own, whatever character I want to model. I can even type in some text alone and get it to generate a character simply from text alone. And there we have our character appearing in Blender, ready to rig. Now I'm going to be switching over to the Easy Rig plugin to now rig the character with a skeleton. Uh, placing a few markers on key points, and now I'm actually going to change the finger count to four fing three fingers? Four fingers. Well, including a thumb. And start detection. All right, and there we have our character skeleton. Fingers look pretty good. Good. I'm going to now click Match to Rig in the Easy Rig plugin, switch to Voxelized Skin Binding, and uh, make sure to have my character selected. Going to bind to Rig. And now let's make sure that everything looks pretty good. I'm going to grab a foot, wiggle it around. That seems fine. I'm going to grab a hand, wiggle that around. That seems fine. Okay, now let's finally export this to an Unreal Engine format using the Easy Rig plugin. Everything is configured by default for the UE5 mannequin skeleton. So I'm just going to name this UE5 and export. Heading over into now my Unreal Engine editor, I'm going to go ahead and let's import our character import to current folder. I believe we called it UE5. Now I'm going to actually find my Unreal Engine mannequin skeleton so I can just use the bones exactly for that. That way it's going to be totally easy to swap out my existing player character. Use T0 as ref pose as a required toggle. Uh, I do need to do one thing here and that is assign the texture to the material because we got I guess some PBR settings by default which is not exactly what I wanted so here we go now we've got our texture applied and we've got our goblin guy uh, and he's all rigged up and ready to go so all I need to do now is go into my player's character and look for my goblin guy whose name is just UE5 there he is okay now we should be able to jump into the game and uh, run him around and uh, have absolutely no problems, there we go. Run cycle, walk cycle, sprinty, sprinty, jumpy, jumpy, crouchy, crouchy. Uh, switch, switch them around. There we go. Sneaky goblin, isn't that cool? That is very cool. Now, of course, uh, I've been talking to the uh, hyperhuman rodent developers. They're always adding new improvements to their uh, to their to their platform, and they've got some very exciting things coming with version two, which should be dropping pretty soon. But I wanted to take a look at this incredibly cool workflow, which you know currently works reasonably well, and I can only imagine how much better it's going to get as time goes on, and uh, these tools just become you know more refined and more polished. Anyway, all the links for the descriptions that I used, Hyperhumans Rodin, and uh, the Easy Rig add-on will be in the description of this video. Hope you guys have enjoyed this look, and I'll see you in the next one. All right.